Our next topic for today is building a memory palace. In today's video, you will get a clear idea that what is a memory palace, how to build it, and how this memory palace is helpful in retaining new information. So, beginning with the term memory palace, let us understand what is memory palace. In simple definition, if I tell you a known place that you can visualize is what known as a memory palace. A memory palace is basically a place in your mind or in your memory that is very easy to visualize. Now students, just note down one thing. This memory palace could be a building, a familiar building that you know. It could be your favorite destination, a place that you have traveled or you dream to travel and you have complete information about that destination. Or it could be any place in the game, your favorite video game, there could be a place that you like the most, so memory palace can be related to anything. There must be interlinking between the places. Why interlinking is important? Because we are assigning information to our memory palace. Whatever things are there, whatever objects are there in the memory palace, what we are doing is we are assigning the information. Therefore, the places that you select must be interlinking to one another. Either the places could be interlinking to one another or these places can have one or the other kind of link with one another. For example, if you depart from your home to your school let us say or if I say if you depart from your home to your office, there are some places that are interlinking to one another or there are some places that have linked to one another. Let us assume that on the way there is a cafe at the very beginning of the journey, then after covering 5 to 10 minutes of journey, there is another cafe of the same brand. So this is what called these two cafe have link with one another. Once you have figured out the link, the landmarks become very very clear. So pick the places and simply form the path. One of the best way that I am going to tell you is, the best way is to write down all the landmarks on the way. As I have kept on repeating in every video, whatever path, whatever journey, whatever room you pick, you need to write down all the objects, all the places, all the landmarks on a piece of paper. These landmarks play a very significant role in the process of learning new information. For example, if you pass from a street and there are namely 6-7 landmarks or 6-7 different things that you see, what you need to do is go through that street once and just assign numbers to them. For example, I have assigned number 1 to the hanging clock, number 2 to the street light or the street lamp, number 3 to a place on my right hand side. If I am going through this street, then number 3 is at my right hand side and then at left hand side, I have assigned number 4 to let's say a coffee shop. Similarly, you need to mark the places that come in your journey and students, this is the best way to learn new information and this is what the memory palace is all about. I hope that this term was really interesting to know. This is very basic but yet very important to understand. 